Hello everyone, welcome to the EcoVC, the Emission Calculator and Visualization Southeast Asia. This tool is powered by East Ventures and the Indonesian Chambers of Commerce, or Cadding Indonesia. Visit the EcoVC landing page at ecovc.com, E-C-O-V-I-S-E-A.com. For more information, you can scroll down the landing page. Here is to understand why companies should calculate their emissions. Paris Agreement aims for net zero to limit global temperature, and knowing how much of our emissions is the first step. This tool will help businesses, MSMEs, or large corporations to calculate their emissions. Further down, find a FAQ section for answers to common questions about the calculator. Contact us at admin at ecopc.com if you have any inquiries. Click this button, Calculate Now button, to begin using the tool. Clicking the Calculate Now button will be directed to the login page. If you haven't registered yet, click the Register button and fill in your account information, such as name, email address, and password. Once you've entered your information, click the Create Account button. A verification email will then be sent to your mailbox. After verifying your account, you can log in to EcoVC with your credentials. Once you log in, you are accessing to the EcoVC tool. The tool features several sections. Manual guide provides you with step-by-step -step procedure, the methodology based on the GE protocol, the international standard for corporate emission accounting, assumptions and limitations, and FAQs. Second one is the company settings to manage your company information and preference. Then there is scope 1, scope 2, and scope 3 to measure your GEG emissions across these categories. Next, there is a dashboard to visualize your emission data and track your progress. Bookmark to share your thoughts and suggestions on the tool. And the last one, change log to stay informed about updated and the improvement. The company settings section has three subsections. The first one is company information. You can fill in an overview of your company, including company name, company description, and company's real economy center. Remember to click Save after entering your information. The second one is Operational Facilities. You can specify your company's facility by clicking Add New and fill in the details provided. All questions are open-ended allowing you to tender the information to your needs. And the last one is Scope Setup. To determine which emissions categories are relevant to your company, selecting Yes to any questions here will activate the corresponding section, indicating the need to calculate emissions for this scope. After you fill in, click Submit and the section will be appear. Once you've completed the company settings, let's explore relevant scope activities. For this tutorial, we'll use stationary combustion as an example. To calculating the emissions, the first thing is click the Add New. And you can fill in the following information, such as month and year, you can select the relevant period let's say for December 2024, the facility ID, the one you enter in the company settings, equipment type, by specifying the equipment type and adding it to your company's inventory, it is the open-ended question, so you can fill in, for example, boiler here, and then fuel type, to indicate the type of fuel used. For this tutorial, we will choose the liquefied natural gas or LNG in liter, and you can fill in the amount of your transmission. Let's say 1,000 liter. The unit that you use in this column is the same 
as you choose in the fuel type. And then, you can customize emission factor. It is the optional one. If you have specific data about it, you can choose yes, and then you can fill in your emission factor value. If you have filled in all of these questions, you can click save, and then the calculator will automatically calculate your emissions. Repeat these steps for other emission source within the same scope category or add in the different categories as needed. Once you've completed entering all emission activities data, head to the dashboard section. The dashboard provides you two ways to visualize your emission data. The first one is the bar chart. You can customize the filters to create specific charts tailored to your needs. There are several available filters, including art to view emissions by monthly or yearly basis. Facilities to focus on emissions from the specific facilities. Scopes to see emissions categorized as Scope 1, Scope 2, or Scope 3. And also the start date and end date to analyze emissions within a specific time frame. For this tutorial, we can see all of the data inputted from the time frame in the January 2024 to December 2024. The second one is about the result summary table. Think of this as a pivot table, quote unquote, to summarize data from all scope categories that you imported before. You can download your inputted data as an initial file by clicking export data. You also can customize the table using this green dots button in the certain columns. You can apply sorting, ascending sort, or descending sort, filter, or group data, or hide based on your visualization needs.